Thank you, Father. Jackie Rigney Marcus is a Middleport girl with an exceptional talent and a gifted voice that she's readily shared with all of us time and time again. She's been part of our most memorable events and our most important days. Her songs have graced patriotic events, public programs, weddings, and church services, and her voice has touched the lives of people throughout the Valley and beyond. Middleport is proud to claim her. The committee called on Jackie once more to honor our flag and our country and to lead us in the national anthem. Her songs today will honor, in a special way, the local veterans and soldiers in our armed forces who never failed to respond to the call of duty, and those whose service and sacrifices have helped keep our nation free for the 150 years that this place has existed. Her songs will honor as well American Legion Post 144 Ladies Auxiliary, whom she proudly represents. A talented lady who is part of our culture and our musical heritage, Jackie Marcus.
my, my dad and my cousins, mom and I, the dog out in the woods behind grandma's house. But I think my favorite memory, Jazzy, maybe you remember, do you remember the gorilla gram that we did for the 25th anniversary? I should ask my mom and dad if they've forgiven me for that yet over at, uh, at, at her, uh, her catering hall. That was a, a special, special day. You know, our, our roots here, a uh, long, long time. I, I did some, some research on the internet this morning and apparently there, my great grandfather, William Argle, fell in love with a woman by the name of Mary Stevens. And that's what brought him to Middleport in 1901. Uh, later served as a carpenter for the Mary D. Uh, Fire Company, which is, or Mary D. Coal Company, which is kind of ironic because my parents would tell you, I don't have any carpentry skills whatsoever. So my, grandmother always claimed that this is where my political roots really began because while my I wish I wish my grandparents were here grandpa wouldn't have had much to say always a very quiet guy on the other hand my grandmother would have had a lot to say and she'd always claimed that this was where I, I began my, my interest in politics and history and when I asked her why she said well you know I was on Middleford Borough Council in 1951 and I'm thinking how did I get my interest in politics seven years before I was born? But if you knew my grandmother, you better believe I didn't argue with her. And so my role today is, is very simple. Just to say, to say thank you. Thank you for, for many, many happy memories here. Thank you for a, a wonderful, a wonderful community. Thank you for inviting me, and I think especially Thank you for that great landslide vote on March 3rd. You have to believe I was waiting for those Middleport numbers to come in because that was the first time there was an article on a ballot in Middleport in, I guess, over 50 years. But uh, this is always going to be a, a very special place. On behalf of Representative Goodman and I, I have a, a Pennsylvania flag. I know you will put to good use. And also on behalf of the Senate of Pennsylvania, I have to get used to saying that. It still sounds a little weird. I'm not going to read the whole citation, but now therefore the Senate of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania heartily congratulates the, Middleport, the borough of Middleport on the momentous and joyous occasion of its sesquicentennial celebration, and maybe this is the key phrase, offers best wishes for many, many happy years to come. On behalf of the quarter million people that I now am proud to represent from Tower City all the way to Camelback Mountain, congratulations to the people of Middleport on 150 good years.
and that's why it's such a great honor to be here today with so many friends as we celebrate the 150th anniversary of the Borough of Middleport and to present a citation from the United States House of Representatives that congratulates the Borough on its great history and wishes you many, many more successful years in the future. Congratulations. State legislator who represents Middleport in the 123rd district in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives is Mr. Neil Goodman. Representative Goodman was a top aide and the chief of staff for his predecessor, E.J. Lusick, and so he received good training and valuable experience early in his career, and he's been on the Harrisburg legislative scene for almost 20 years. In 2003, Representative Goodman won election to the state legislature in his own right. In the House, he's been, among other things, a strong advocate for military veterans, and they have publicly recognized his support and service. He's the recipient of the American Legion Adjutant General's Award, the Veterans of War and War Distinguished Service Award, and the Chapel of War Chaplains Award. Representative Goodman is a graduate of East Stroudsburg University, a veteran of the United States Marine Corps, and a former member of the Monoy City Borough Council. He grew up in a small town, served it well, and he knows what community pride is all about. We're proud to have him with us, Pennsylvania Representative Neil P. Goodman. Thank you very much and good afternoon. It is an honor to be here to share and to celebrate with you on your 150th anniversary. And I would like to read just a small part of the citation that I have. It says, named for its location between Pottsville and Tobacco on the Schuylkill Canal, throughout its history, the borough of Middleport has been blessed with the dedicated civil leaders who have helped to grow and flourish, as well as distinguished and productive children who have helped to become an inspiring piece within the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And I remember one of the very first, one of the very first places I got to speak as state representative was right here in Middleport. I was asked to speak on Memorial Day and later on on September 11th, very shortly after uh, the, the tragedy that we had in New York. And I was very impressed by the patriotism that comes out of this very small community. And one of the veterans pulled me aside and said to me, Representative, uh, you have 28, legis you have 28 uh, communities in your district. Uh, the borough of Middleport is your smallest borough. Some people think of it as just some place in between Tamaqua and Pottsville. But as you, will as you will learn over the years, there's more to Middleport. Middleport is the heart of the valley. And I think that says it all. As Timmy said, when we walked the streets today, we were met with smiling faces, many waves, and saw many friends. So I congratulate you on your 150th anniversary and remind everyone that Middleport is not just some place in between Pottsville and <laughs> Tamaqua. It is the heart of the valley. Thank you very much. Next up, Dave Plachko is a graduate of St. Clair High School, a classmate of Middleport students who attended that school in the early 80s, and he's a well-known public figure in Schuylkill Valley. He was a star athlete on the District 11 championship basketball team and later was inducted along with his uncle and his dad into the Schuylkill County Sports Hall of Fame. He played sports on a collegiate level at, a, at Alvernia College and DeSales University and he's been actively involved with youth and scholastic sports programs for a long time, something Middleport community leaders have had on their agenda and made a priority for many years. Dave is a popular elected official who currently serves this area as a district magistrate. His jurisdiction covers a region from St. Clair to Schuylkill Township and from Mount Carbon to Newcastle, including Middleport. He's a respected member of the judicial system and his work has a lot to do with law enforcement and the safety and protection of citizens in small towns like ours. A familiar face here to help us celebrate a memorable day, Judge Dave Plachko. Thank you. 1859, the first steamboat sails. Oregon was admitted as the 33rd state. Dad. Interestingly, the Dad. first insanity plea was used. Dad. The Philadelphia A's organized to play baseball. Dad. And the first college baseball game was played between Amherst College and Williams College. Final score 66 to 32. The first oil well drilled in the United States in Titusville, Pennsylvania. And a man in San Francisco claimed to be Norton the First, Emperor of America. I think the same guy to try to use the insanity plea. Mm -hmm. And of course, on April 14, 1859, Middleport officially became a borough of this commonwealth. If 
consisted of several homes for the miners and the mechanics, a store, a grist mill, and of course a tavern. And Etchy Vaz is still going strong today. <laughs> <laughs> James Buchanan was president at that time, and this nation was in great crisis. A number of states were seceding from the Union, and this country was on the verge of plunging into a horrific civil war. The issue of that time was one of freedom, and it's a word we hear a lot these days. But in 1859, they were talking about basic human freedom and the fight against slavery. As Middleport emerged as a borough, this nation began carting, charting its own course in history to ensure freedom for all men. Liberty must be ensured, or must be allowed, to work out its natural result, and it will astonish the world, said President Buchanan. Today we have a black president, and liberty has indeed astonished the world. Middleport has always been a special place for me. I attended St. Clair schools with many people here today, or the, or the children, or the grandchildren of many people here today, and I competed against and with many of you right over there on that baseball field. But 18 years ago, I decided to run for magistrate, and I asked somebody from Middleport to be my campaign chairman. Although he lived in St. Clair, and he lived in Palo Alto, if you ever asked him where he was from, he would make it very clear to you that he was from Middleport. I miss that Robbie Shellhammer. I'm sure many of you do too. Boy, would he love to be here today to celebrate this great day. They say the people make the place, and that is evident in the civic pride being displayed here today. It's an unbelievable honor to come here to give this address. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And on behalf of the 21st Judicial District, I wish you all a great day. Thank you very much. And for many years after, Middleport's government was structure included a chief burgess. That mayor involved in modern times into the office of mayor, the highest ranking elected official in the town. The mayor is a primary spokesperson for the community, often the first point of contact on important problems and issues, and a local governmental leader. He or she must be a problem solver, a law enforcement official, a diplomat, a community planner, and much more. More importantly, the mayor must be someone who cares about the town, gets involved, and acts in the best interests of its citizens. Our celebration today honors all former mayors and all former members of borough council, living and deceased, who serve this community. Current members of the borough council, they include President Joe Scripco, John DePolipio, Brenda Bustis, Jean Heister, and Beth Ann McClure. The day belongs to them as well, and we acknowledge and appreciate their public service and their role in planning this observance. In this historical centennial year, the honor of representing Middleport, the Borough Council, and many who have served in an official capacity through the years falls to the current mayor. He's an important part of our town and our program. Please welcome to the podium Mr. John Lechko. Good afternoon. It is very warm out there, as I can see. Um, as I look out and see everyone here today, I see a great group of individuals, individuals that make up our community. As we celebrate 150th anniversary of the town, it's really about all of you, the individuals who make it the town. Individuals with one short thing in common, pride and joy in our community. Individuals native to Middleport, transplants like myself, and special guests, all brought together to celebrate this great day. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for helping us celebrate the past. And thank you for continued success of our borough in the future. Let me just say, happy anniversary, Middleport. For the future success, for the future success of Middleport, I have a simple challenge for each of us. One person alone cannot drive the success of a town. What can we do? Can we share a friendly smile with our neighbors? Can we share the memories of Middleport with our younger generations? The smallest and simplest actions, when brought together, can make a profound and noticeable difference. Finally, let me say a few important thank yous to the individuals and groups whose efforts have resulted in the event we are part of today. First, the Middleport Community Organization. Jennifer Franz, Patsy Scripco, Mary, Mary Jane Heisner, Joanne Palco, Francis Nasser and Brenda Gustis. Their individual investments in time and energy, truly designed, constructed.
constructed and executed this event today. Additional thank yous goes to Darren Borger and Melissa Hill of the Middleport Volunteer Fire Company, and of course, Louis Fernando and Leo Oswald of the Borough Maintenance Department. Thank you to the Schuylkill Valley Teener and Legion Baseball League Associations for their support and cooperation in this event. And lastly, the Borough Council, who since the first time I met with them have been dedicated to the improvement of this community we call home. John DeFlippio, Brenda Gustis, Gene Heisner, Beth Ann McClure, and the President, Joseph Scripco. Thank you all for coming today, and thank you all to the distinguished guests who came today as well. Millport belongs to a, a very well-known well professional organization called the Pennsylvania Association of Boroughs. And we have with us a representative from that organization today to, to do a special presentation to the mayor. Good afternoon. My name is Mary LaBerg, and I represent the Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs. And before I present this award to your mayor, may I say to you, the citizens of Middleport, happy birthday. Care about 